Before the advent of word processing, computer graphics systems, and desktop publishing, dry transfer lettering was a popular way of putting words, sentences, and graphics down on paper. You can still get dry transfer letter sheets from companies such as Letraset, who pioneered the dry transfer system in 1960. In its heyday, you could get hundreds of different typefaces, characters, architectural drawing elements, halftone screens, backgrounds, and special dry transfer products such as Letraline. Back in the day, it was exciting to get the latest Letraset catalog and see what new dry transfer products were available. Indeed, some of these are still available from Letraset. Here's how to use dry transfer lettering. It's really very simple. Take the artwork that you're working on, usually on paper, and place the letter you wish to transfer on top of the artwork. Next, using something like a ballpoint pen, rub completely over the entire letter. Don't forget the corners and fine details. This will transfer the letter off of the transfer sheet and onto the page. Peel away the transfer sheet and your letter will be left on the paper. Well, most of the time. All dry transfer lettering pages are sold with a protection sheet made out of a non-porous paper. Place this sheet over the letter you've just transferred and rub it down with your thumbnail. There, you've just transferred your first letter. Continue with the next letter and so on until your entire word has been placed onto your artwork. If you mess up, it's possible to remove the letter with some gentle persuasion and a piece of masking tape. Carefully place the masking tape over the letter, rub gently, and slowly remove the tape. Your letter should come off the page and be deposited onto the masking tape. Well, most of the time. With dry transfer products and a little bit of practice, you should soon be able to create artwork with a truly professional appearance.